Good evening, my name is Jay and I'll be teaching a simple tutorial this evening. This is about multiplicity. So it's like putting a lot of pictures with the same person in one picture. Like this one that I'm showing you right now. So as you can see, uh, it's all me in one picture, same persons wearing same looks or same clothes. And I have some examples here. Well, I have here four of me, then the other one I have here six, which is much difficult compared to this one. So I'll be teaching you how to do this effect, the multiplicity effect, this one, especially this one. So just to teach you a basic one. So what you need to do first is to select the picture. I need you to take a picture of you, four of you, uh, four shots rather, of you. Uh, in different places so I have here this picture uh, what you need to do is to go to scripts then load files into stack which means it will be selecting four pictures or multiple pictures in and then placing it in one place so I have here browse then I'll be selecting it's in my desktop so I have here the four images okay so just press OK then the Photoshop itself will be fixing it for you. So I have it here. I'll be dragging it here. So it will be placing here in the layers for pictures you have chosen. So what you need to do is while we are waiting, okay, uh, if you will take a picture, you should have a tripod so that it won't move like this one. If you can see, uh, it has the same place with different positions I have or areas I have like the other one so if you can see this one is the first shot second shot was this it never moved the place never moved I was the only one who was moving and transferring from another place and the other one was here and the other one is here so if you can see uh, it would be perfect if you have a tripod I've used a remote because I was just only one shooting myself so I've used a remote but it could if you could you can call your friend or ask for the help of a friend to take pictures of you but you need to really have a tripod to avoid moving the camera or the, the, the DSLR you're using okay so start with I need to put layers okay I'm sorry for this uh, I really hate this one why is it above okay anyways you need to put layers here this one uh, no layer mask in every picture you need to put layer masks okay here then after that you need to select the first layer mask then get the pen tool yeah this, no the brush tool rather then select black as your foreground and your background is white what you need to do is to get a brush uh, the hardness is lower than like 13% to 12% depending on you the size of course basically I am choosing 308 then try to erase if you can see don't worry uh, I'll be erasing him temporarily but I'll be bringing him back now be careful with the colors and how you mix because it will appear like the hardness as we've chosen the softness this later part you will notice what will happen so what you need to do is to after you erase this press Control I or invert when you do that then you will see this effect it will bring the second picture the image so what you need to do is to select second image then same as I did let's erase I'll be doing this fast so for the sake of tutorial okay so then same Control I press Control I then same next next picture Be doing it fast for the sake of the tutorial. Control I, and of course now you have four pictures. What you need to do is, of course, you don't need to merge it or whatsoever. But if you want to, you can merge it then save it as an image. Be careful. Usually, you need to save it in JPEG. But I'll not be saving it because I have done it already. So here it is, the multiplicity effect. So this is how you do it. So thank you so much for watching. And my name is Jay, and I would like you to subscribe.
and like my video tutorial so that I can do more. If you have questions, just send me questions. Okay, so here are some. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.